The Confucius Institute at University of Cape Coast, located in Cape Coast, the central region of Ghana, is the second Confucius Institute established in Ghana by Hanban, Confucius Institute headquarters. Hunan City University is the Chinese partner university to jointly construct the Confucius Institute with University of Cape Coast. The Confucius Institute at University of Cape Coast, CIUCC, was approved by the document formally issued by Hanban in December of 2015 and had the inauguration on June 2, 2016, with China director and a teacher coming to the post in September 2016, the official operation started. Within more than a year after its establishment, CIUCC has grown from scratch and has achieved remarkable results because of the correct leadership and strong support of Hanban, University of Cape Coast and Hunan City University and the efforts of all the working staff. In fact, I'm very grateful to all of you for the hard work you have done for the successful inauguration. CIUCC currently has 24 time teachers and administrators from both China and Ghana. It has already set up nine Chinese training centers outside of the campus, two of which are cooperative training programs with Chinese enterprises in Ghana. It has opened 14 Chinese language and cultural courses with 2,000 number of registered students. CIUCC has already carried out more than 10 times of large-scale cultural promotion activities and several times of exchange activities with different level local governmental organizations. The Confucius Institute teaching facilities have gradually been improved from the scratch. Now CIUCC has two offices, two classrooms, one language lab, and one library with 3,140 books. The creation of CIUCC website, WeChat platform, Facebook and WhatsApp have become more mature step by step. Over the past year, the teaching faculties of the Confucius Institute have been continuously strengthened. And now there are 10 Chinese teachers. The teaching scale is increasingly expanding With learners covering different levels of people from primary, secondary, and tertiary students to enterprise staff and governmental organizations. From February to October in 2017, CIUCC has carried out Chinese training and cultural activities in the following training centers. They are the University Practice Senior High School, Jintian International Ghana Development Company Limited, Cape Coast Technical University, Winneba Perez University College, Thryford Ghana Ceramics Limited Ghana, the University Practice School, the Central Regional Immigration, Infantipim High School, Shama Senior High School in Western Region, the Central Regional Police Services, and some other organizations. Now, Confucius Institute has three major courses, language, culture, and training courses. There are two types of Chinese language courses at University of Cape Coast, credit hour courses and non-credit hour courses. The three credit hours Chinese course starting at each second semester of the academic year, and non-credit hour courses such as basic Chinese HSK course and business Chinese. Cultural courses are Tai Chi, calligraphy, Chinese song and dance, paper cuts, handcrafts, and so on. Training courses include HSK exams training, Chinese bridge competition training, and summer camp training. The total registered number of students reaching to 1,100. The Chinese course in Cape Coast Technical University is outreach program with non-credit hours and the number of students is about 120. The course in University Practice Senior High School UPSHS is outreach program 
and the number of students is 150, while the course in the university primary school is Chinese training for children in the summer vacation, and the number of students is 650. The Bachelor of Arts in Chinese undergraduate program at University of Cape Coast UCC has been included into its major's construction schedule which has been passed at the academic board meetings from the two levels of Faculty of Arts to College of Humanities and Legal Studies. CIUCC attaches great importance to the local teachers' training and cooperation with Chinese enterprises. A local teacher in CIUCC participated in the training for local teachers in Shanghai by Hanban in August this year. The Confucius Institute has also established a long friendly and cooperative relationship with Ghana Chinese funded enterprises like Jintian International Group Company Limited in Accra and Thyford Ghana Serapix Limited Company in Takradi. We have developed a series of targeted management training courses for local employees in Jintian International Ghana Development Company Limited. After a year of efforts, CIUCC has made some achievements. Two students took the HSK Level 3 exam and four candidates took part in the preliminary round of the Chinese bridge in the Ghana division and one student Mr. Anand James entered the final. There are three students winning scholarships to study in China. CI students whose name is Sam Wima that Leticia received scholarship to study in University of Chinese Medicine in Shanghai. Bashiru Dima Mustafa received scholarship from the Chinese government studying at Lanshan Xiantong University. So far, CIUCC has held more than 10 times of large-scale cultural activities which has promoted Chinese culture and enhanced mutual understanding and trust between the two peoples. In September 2016 and September 2017, two large-scale Confucius Day celebrations were held in the University of Cape Coast and the charm of Chinese culture has been popularized and displayed through the speech and cultural booths. That's uh, calligraphy, Chinese calligraphy, so far, and I knew how to do the characters in calligraphy. And I went to experience also the moon cake, that's Chinese moon cake, and I did some and I ate some. It was culture, <laughs> culture, very, very nice. And I also went to the paper cut and saw how the paper cut was. It was also very nice. You know, Chinese culture is very, very nice. And I think it is a very good thing for us all to also experience Chinese culture. Thank you. Uh, Wajia Chao Shukwa, which means that I'm called Jusha Tete. It's one of four their programs. I like it very much. I came to the calligraphy, but I was not able to get time to do anything there. I went to the moon cake, which was superb. I also came to the paper cutting, it's like from intuition. We said today is what they call it a chinchi war, which means what Friday. Yes. Yeah, yes. it's very good. And the language is quite similar to ours. You see, we see Africans as different, but they are like the Chinese. Their characters are different, also language is also different and it's very good. Women, women, hi. So In November 2016, the Ambassador's Award ceremony was successfully held. Ambassador Shun Ban Hong awarded scholarship in form of bonuses to 20 winners, which inspired students' enthusiasm for learning Chinese. In order to make Ghana students better understand the traditional Chinese festivals and customs, in the first half of 2017, CIUCC held Spring Festival Gala and Chinese traditional clothing and food cultural experience activities. Confucius Institute also held Chinese club luncheon ceremonies at the University of Cape Coast, University Primary School, Infantipim High School, Shamar High School in Western Region and some other schools. At the beginning of each semester, Confucius Institute holds a new preaching lecture orientation for freshmen to introduce the Confucius Institute courses and the Confucius Institute scholarship application. On June 2, 2017, CIUCC successfully held the anniversary celebration. The Central Regional Minister of Ghana 
and the Chinese ambassador in Ghana, Ms. Shun Bang Hong, delivered speeches at the celebration. The Confucius Institute is even a further platform for the strengthening of this relationship between our two countries. To get off to a flying start, up to now, there are 511 Confucius Institutes and 1,073 Confucius classrooms in 140 countries. And the achievements made in the first year and contribution to the promotion of Chinese training and Chinese culture since the operation of the Confucius Institutes in the central region of Ghana has been affirmed in their speeches. In August 2017, the Confucius Institute organized 14 students to have 18 days China Dongqing summer camp in Hunan City University. In October and November of 2017, Confucius Institute will also hold a three-tour performance by Hanban at University of Cape Coast, a delegation of educational officials with the Deputy Central Regional Minister as the group leader will visit China. The preparation work of China Africa Urban Development Forum has been done with elaborate design and plan, which will be held from November 19 to 21 at UCC. The Institute of Urban Studies will be established thereafter and a volume of papers, conference proceedings named Urban Development Studies will be published. All these activities will further promote the international and cultural exchanges between China and Ghana. This year, the China Director of CIUCC, Professor Hu Chai, on behalf of CIUCC, has had friendly discussions with the Chief of Asin Kusia, the Central Regional Minister, the Central Regional Police Commander, the Central Regional Immigration Commander, the Central Regional Director of Education, and has established long-term cooperative relations with them. According to the 2018-year development plan of the Confucius Institute, while continuing to conduct Chinese training and cultural promotion activities, in the new year of 2018, CIUCC will set up an HSK text center and a Chinese cultural experience center, will strengthen the construction of the community culture will further expand the language training and cultural activities from the University of Cape Coast, radiating to the surrounding schools, communities, government agencies, and then to the central region of Ghana. In the following year, as a way of preparing for the establishment of the Confucius Institute UCC, a delegation from the university reciprocated this visit by sponsoring two lecturers to ACU to study Chinese language and culture. And its neighboring regions, making CIUCC become a window for Ghanaian people to know China as a bridge for the friendship between China and Ghana.